antimatter is one of the most intriguing discoveries in modern physics. It's the counterpart to matter, where each particle has an opposite twin. For example, the electron has the positron, identical in mass but with a positive charge instead of a negative one. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy, releasing gamma rays. This annihilation is remarkably efficient, converting all the mass into energy as described by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc2 square. This property of antimatter holds incredible potential, but also presents significant challenges. Antimatter was first proposed by physicist Paul Dirac in 1928 and became more than just a theory in 1932 when the positron, its first observed particle, was discovered. Although naturally occurring antimatter is created in cosmic ray collisions and radioactive decay, it's incredibly rare compared to matter, leading to one of the biggest mysteries in physics. Why does our universe have more matter than antimatter? Today, scientists produce antimatter in laboratories like CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Though the amounts are minuscule, this production allows researchers to explore its properties and potential applications. For example, antimatter plays a crucial role in positron emission tomography, or PET scans, a widely used medical imaging technique. However, creating and storing antimatter is extraordinarily difficult and expensive. It requires advanced technologies and extreme precision, as even a small amount poses significant risks due to the energy released during annihilation. Despite the challenges, studying antimatter is more than just academic curiosity. It unlocks new insights into the fundamental laws of physics and the origins of our universe. Antimatter might just hold the keys to solving some of the most profound questions in science.